Hello and welcome to my private site. This is a free plugin available from the WordPress.org plugin repository. My name is David Gewertz and I am the plugins developer. What we're going to do today is take a look at how to use my private site and get some understanding of the basics of this really cool and simple to use plugin. So let's start off with the plugins page itself. My private site is something that you can download from WordPress.org. Once you do, you just activate it and it creates a menu on the side of the page. There are also add-ons that you can purchase and they do some very cool things if I say so myself. But for the moment, we're going to talk about the base unit, the base plugin that's available completely for free. So once you click in, you'll see a menu of tabs along the top. This is the beginning page. And one of the most important things that you can do is enter your email address and subscribe to my updates list. And that's important because if there's a new version, and this, for example, is a brand new version with a lot of new features, it's really good for you to know that ahead of time. I usually let users know um, sometime ahead of the release of new code so they can do any testing or anything else that's necessary. All right, so with that, let's go over to our site privacy page. This, if you know nothing else, this is all you really need to know. This is what makes this thing so capable. So let's take a look at how you can use this. First off, I have a sample site here. This is a demo site set up using uh, the publicly available WordPress test data, which is used by developers for testing plugins and themes and things like that. And here we're on the home page. There's a bunch of, of pages available from the menus that are incredibly exciting. There's a privacy policy and a page filled with Lorem Ipsum just because, and a set of categories uh, for things that you can do with, um, with themes if you care. So that's the overview of the site. I'm running this in an incognito or private site mode, and the reason for that is so that I can show you login and log out here, while at the same time keeping the interface open so you can see how it performs. So as you saw, right now I'm moving along the site, I'm not logged in, and I can get to all of the pages. Let me point out that it says the site is not private, which we've discovered as we went digging along and clicking on the various pages. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to click Enable Login Privacy, save the privacy status. Now the site is private, and you'll see when I refresh, I get a login, and that's it. Um, I can go to any of the pages. I'm going to log in. And go to any of the pages logged in. And in fact, I'm going to grab the URL of this Lorem Ipsum page just because it'll show you what I mean. I'm going to log back out. And even if I paste in that URL and know the URL directly, I get a login. So with just that capability, with just that simple feature here, clicking Enable Login Privacy, your entire site is locked down. Now there's a few things that you can do, like change the landing page, change where you wind up when you log in, things like that. But before I do that, I want to spend a minute to sort of talk to you about the limits of privacy on my private site, because this is a great tool for students, it's a great tool for teachers, it's a great tool for families, it's a great tool for developers, it's a great tool for website builders who want to lock down a site for a little while while they're working on it. But it is not a cryptographically secure site. And what I mean by that is it's not something you want to use if you're protecting medical records or if you're protecting information that if it got out could cause severe problems or major financial records. For example, there are three major limitations that I'd like you to be aware of. The first is that it does not hide non-WordPress web pages like HTML or PHP. So if somebody, ha if you put an HTML page in your WordPress directory and somebody goes to that page, it's not going to be hidden. It only hides what's delivered through WordPress. Number two is it does not restrict images, media, text, PDFs, any of those sorts of things that are accessed directly by their URL. So if somebody has the URL to say a PDF on your site, this is not going to block their access to the URL. It will block access to the page that links to that URL. So if you don't give, a, give out the URL to the PDF, people won't be able to get to it because they won't know it. But if they have the URL, they'll be able to grab it. 
And third, if your hosting provider's file systems protections haven't been set up correctly, they could conceivably go to a directory and see a directory listing. And so that's something else that my private site doesn't cover. So, so think about it this way. If it's accessible via WordPress, my private site makes your site private. If it's accessible outside of WordPress, my private site doesn't touch it. So keep that in mind. And again, if you're concerned about HIPAA regulations or FERPA or any of those sorts of things, you want something that's a, a, a vastly more robust system. But if you're looking for simple and easy one-click protection, this is your tool. Okay, so let's talk about some new features, that uh, some additional features in here. Because right now you're on the landing page, even if you click back to demo site, there's nothing here. So what if you want to be able to tell people, hey, you know, I'd really like you to know that you're supposed to log in or come see me for an account if you want to get access to this. That's done by enabling the home page. And so we'll go over to home page here. And what we'll do is we'll say, allow site home page to remain accessible without requiring a login. So let's go ahead and make that doable. And so now what will happen is you can have that home page remain accessible. So if we come back here and we type in this, this site's on, on ZDebug, which is one of my debugging sites. Now, if we come to the home page, <clears throat> you can see the home page. But if you go to any of the other pages, you still are required to log in. So that allows you to have the flexibility of some kind of welcoming page and still have the rest of your site locked down. Now, I will tell you that there is a plugin that will allow you to allow specific individual pages to be opened up to the public and will allow you to have specific pages with prefixes. Like, for example, all of these are prefixed. Well, you can't see it because you're not logged in, but all of these are prefixed by the, the phrase category and all of these are prefixed by the phrase about. And let me take you to the add-ins. The public pages add-on will allow you to have all of that capability. So if you decide you want to upgrade and, and have a lot more flexibility in what pages you make public, there you go. That's an option for you. So in addition to the home page, though, we, we, we talked about uh, the ability to tell somebody, welcome to my page, right, and log in. So let's go to this home page and let's make a change here. We'll go into uh, pages. And this is the home page. And let's just type in, welcome to my page. If you want to get access, please contact the administrator, min administrator, for a login ID. This site is protected by my private site. Okay, so, and I'll give it an exclamation point. Uh, there we go, exclamation. And there we are, and we update that. I'll go back to WordPress, and I'll go back to my private site, and refresh, and here is that sentence. I think I wanna make that bold, so I'm gonna come back here for a second. I'm gonna edit it, and I'm gonna make it bold so it stands out. Okay, and come back here, and we're good for the moment. So now when somebody comes into this page, they can see welcome to my page. But here's an interesting question. When you log in, so let's log in. Okay, let's log in using the actual password. Much better. I still see this, which is kind of annoying because I'm now logged in, I don't really need that prompt. And that brings us to the short codes feature of my private site, which allows you to take a chunk of text and only display it if you're logged in or only display it if you're logged out. For example, privacy hide if logged in will hide the text if you're logged in and privacy hide if logged out will log the, hide the text if you log out. So what we're gonna do is we're going to surround that chunk of text with this message. So I'm gonna copy that. If you're hearing noise in the background, we have just suddenly gotten a thunderstorm. So that's always exciting. 
All right, so hide if logged in, and let's move this to over here, and we'll update it. Now, we're logged in right now, so refresh, and you notice it's gone. As soon as I log out, however, and I go back to the home page, there you go, it's visible. So logged out, you see this message, but logged in, you don't. Now in my private site, there are also a whole bunch of other options available in, it's time for the upsell, the selective content add-on. The selective content add-on has the ability to um, hide stuff, not only whether you're logged in or logged out, logged out, but whether you're an administrator or an editor. Uh, it allows you to truncate information. It allows you to scramble information. And in my favorite, it allows you to put lorem ipsum in replacement of that information. It also will allow you to selectively hide widgets and sidebars based on the access to that, pay, to that site. So that's there. Um, but I do want to talk briefly about landing page. And landing page is where you go once you're logged in. So in this, in, so far in this case, we've landed on the home page. But what if we want to change that up a little bit? I'm going to log out. And once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and just remember that we're landing on the home page. Okay. But I have a page all pages called welcome friend, which is this page here. And what I want to do is set it up so that when uh, we log in, we go to the welcome friend page because that's much more welcoming for people who are our buddies who come in. So I'm going to go over to landing pages. And in this case, I'm going to say redirect to a specified URL like that and save my landing page. Okay, and so you can see we have zdebug.com slash welcome friend. And once again, uh, let's go back to the demo site. Um, so we're on the home page, but now we decide, okay, we're going to log in. And we can either log in by hitting log in here or going to one of the pages um, that generate a login notice. So that's what I'll do. And I'll log in. And this time we go to welcome friend. So rather than being uh, brought back to the home page, you're brought to a special page because you're one of the, the members or friends or family or constituents of, of the site. And if you go back to home page, you'll notice that the please log in or, or get yourself an admin to give you an account is gone as well. So that's a capability here. And you can have somebody return to the same URL where they, were, where they were trying to go to before. You can let them go to the site home always. You can move them to the admin dashboard always. You can get rid of, this is a sort of advanced feature, you can get rid of the redirect to thing in the URL, which forces, basically eliminates the, the redirect options that some other sites might have set. And you can redirect to a specified URL, which is what I just showed. Now, what you've seen essentially are the key features of my private site. I'm gonna show you a couple quick things. You can customize my private site based on registration, in which case you can have certain people register or not register. Uh, you can uh, set up your licenses when you buy an add-on. Remember this add-on page has all sorts of, of upgrade add-ons that uh, are available and, and I'll be making more for this service, but there's also other things to pay attention to. Most important is this section called improve outgoing email reliability. And the reason that's important is because not all WordPresses send web pages that well. I mean, send email that well. There's a great explainer from WP Beginner that explains that. And if you're hearing noise in the background, the rain has really picked up. Anyway, these four resources will help make sure mail gets delivered. So if you have a problem with people requesting their, their passwords or requesting password resets and not able to get them, go to these resources. And then I'll be adding uh, some other helpful plugins that I recommend as soon as I test them with 3.0. Wow. That is a lot of rain. 
this is my fifth or sixth take, so I'm just going to power through this even though there's the rain noise in the background because I'm almost done and it's, it's a pretty good take, but uh, wow, that's a lot of rain. Okay, so I've shown you the licenses tab. This is where you activate your licenses. And then finally, I'm going to show you the advanced tab. And the advanced tab is for advanced users. There's a little red section here that says this is dangerous. That's what it means. If you screw around too much with the landing page and the advanced options, you could lock yourself out of your site. So I don't recommend you use the advanced page unless you're advanced. And I also don't recommend you use the advanced page unless you set this up on a test site that you can blow out and recover so that you really understand what it will do uh, to your login system as you're experimenting. Because you could actually create a situation where you can't get back into your website. So as long as you don't screw with the advanced page, you're going to be pretty good. But, you know, it's there for, for those people who really need it. Uh, but I do recommend caution. And that's it. We have covered my private site in most of its key features. Thank you for joining me on this little tour. My name is David Gewertz, and I look forward to helping keep you folks private. Have a great day. Do something great. And uh, if you've got a rainy day where you are, try to stay as dry as you can. Bye-bye now.